Just making a website. I could have sworn I did this video, but obviously I didn't. So, um, a couple of months back, I did a video by Mr. Obvious, and yeah, this wasn't, this didn't turn out well. And I'm gonna just go ahead and turn that video up, and we're gonna actually um, watch this. So. It, this was done back in March. This video was originally done in March, and this is the reason why, like, I need to be more diligent with doing videos because, like, I have shit on my docket that I want to actually do, but like, I just, I just can't. Sometimes I can't because I just can't. I just can't. Part of it is, you know, job looking at a fucking computer screen for 10 hours a day. I don't want to come home and look at, well, I guess it'd be already at home and look at, you know, coming home from like, or stopping work and looking at four computer screens and then coming and doing, looking at another three. Cause I literally have three, the monitor for my PlayStation, the monitor that I'm monitoring videos off of and the stream monitor. Eh. So, I, I get a little bit behind on my videos. But I want to address this one. I really fucking want to address this one. And if I did this video, guys, please bear with me. Because this is one of those things where it's just like... The fucking hatred. And I, I just... I don't know. Like, I fucking don't know. And I just feel like I did this video before. I think I really, really did. But let's see if I got any new takes or new topics on it. So let's go. Take care. Now, first of all, I want to say I did not really want to make this video about anti-diversity because I believe that the intentions behind it are good. However, I feel that we have gone too far about how tech has become hostile to certain types of people. X. Okay. This is a little bit relevant right now because tech, tech companies, tech companies, Tech companies talking about, oh, we don't want, to, we have too much diversity. And this is that Google employee that was fired because he said that women don't want to be engineers. And like, yeah, it was stupid because literally, you fucking idiot. There are, there have been women software engineers since there have been computer softwares. Like, it's like saying women can't math. And like, no, that's not how that works, dog. That's that's not how <sighs> That's Wajita, you crazy, man. Yeah, you're crazy. I'm going to actually draw that video that you, you I'm going to draw that picture that you sent me in Discord. I'm actually going to use that as an inspiration to draw somebody else. I just recently did it. Uh, but um yeah no like roberto who was the chick that was working in um in um god being on utah ice cast joe was talking about he did uh late lizard suit larry um sierra sierra or what was yes um sierra online um uh, roberto um roberto williams who was a game programmer like she was like one of the OG game programmers. Um, like, we've had so many people that were game programmers, game designers that were women. And it's like, like, these guys, like, dude, I, I get it. Like, because of a decision of a toy owl, you thought that women didn't fucking do video games. But women have been in video games for fucking ever. And quite... Quite frankly, this whole belief that um, women just didn't choose to be in the STEM sciences or in the STEM field, I should say, because they couldn't do it, this shit is ridiculous. This whole belief that, I don't know, black folks didn't want to be in these fields because they just didn't have the capacity for it, it's fucking ridiculous because the reason why a lot of that shit happened is because 
Well, they were excluded. <laughs> you wrong for that one, Vegeta. Um, but a lot of people were excluded. They didn't not want to be in those fields. They didn't want to be in the text field, but they were excluded through systematic processes. But far be it from these motherfuckers to, you know, not think that, well, they didn't do it because they didn't want to do it, right? Let's continue. Google engineer exposes diversity over meritocracy and tech. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, and today on ReclaimTheNet.org, we're gonna talk- Oh my God, oh my God, I wanna strangle that voice. Not him, it's just the voice in Minecraft, in Smite. I, I want to strangle- Hello, everybody! Like, the fuck is wrong with you, dog? Like, really? It's not Mr. Obvious, it's Mr. Obnoxious. But, let's continue. Oh, I got the final kill. Yes, motherfuckers! Talk about something very near and dear to me, that is the discrimination in big tech, in these corporations, in the progressive agenda. Okay, we're gonna talk about the progressive agenda and how it excludes white people in favor of literally anybody else. Ex um, wait, what? Yeah, very, very irritating. My question, watch this now. The progressive agenda is to just make sure people are equal. Like, that's generally what the progressive, like, and you, and I get it, I get it. There are some people that want to live under the tyranny of what they call wokeness or progressivism. And those those people are fucking fascists as well. If you think that you're going to force your way on somebody just because it's your personal fucking flavor, you're no better than the motherfucking fascists that want to introduce traditional values and go back to that. Just because your shit is on the opposite end of the spectrum doesn't make it on the right end of the spectrum or the left. Doesn't work that way. And I'm sorry if I offended the people that says, no, we have to always have it place where you can't say anything to me. I'm sorry if you want to live under the tyranny of just like, don't question me, fuck you. Be it on the left, right, Center, up, down, sideways, turn around, flip it. I don't care. If you want to live on an interior of don't question me, don't criticize me for, you know, your personality or who you are, fuck you. Thank you. Now, just because of, you know, your personal taste or your, you know, conscious uh, or unconscious, you know, desires or something like that no fuck you know but if you want to be an asshole and you want to actually say i want to hurt people because my way or whatever then we have a fucking issue <laughs> see this is why i keep you in the chat with you because you be, you allow me to go fucking crazy sometimes but let's continue Except in some cases, Asian men and women, because apparently diversity to these leftists, to these progressive types of individuals basically means, you know, not white, not Asian. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about how I think it's wrong, how I think it's backwards and how all of these diversity initiatives are actually discriminatory. So let's see here. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh, ooh, God damn it. Damn it. Look, watch. Ooh, stop. No, cop. No. So. It's discriminatory to say you can't have 90%, 80%. You can live with 60 or 40 or oh, 49%. That's discriminatory. Everybody else can do it too. Like, like other people can play with your ball. Because it's not just your ball. It's all of our balls. That sounded very strangely erotic or someone you know what i mean but let's continue 
their headline. Ex-Google engineer raises alarm on diversity over meritocracy in tech. Patrick Hsu uncovers some of the questionable practices of tech giants. Now what I want to do is go through the video, um, see what he has to say, and kind of elaborate on why he's saying it, what I think is right, what I think is wrong, and some of the screenshots that he's leaked, that he's showing, and that he's exposing, so that we can finally call out these companies once and for all. Now he's trashing diversity in this video, and for good reason, and I think we're going to see why when we start to go through it. There's a lot more discrimination in this field than I had thought. And it's really disturbing to me. And I know some people will say, well, you know, I'm one of the. <laughs> oh, yeah, a lot of shit sounds dirty in my head, Vegeta. Um, but this is what. Oh, God. OK, OK, OK. So. Uh, just a little bit of background. And this would actually come up and play in a little bit later. And I'm fucking glad I have this motherfucker on um, one and a quarter because he talks fucking slow. This, like, not the ex-Google employee, but Mr. Obvious. Like, he sounds like, oh, look at Jorman Gander is a cute little kitty cat. <laughs> um, yeah. So... One of the things, the reason why a lot of systems are in place to actually exclude a lot of minorities, say you've been a long, uh, a, a long short man, and it's a job that, you know, your father had, and you had it, but you want your son to have it. And then you start thinking like, well, oh, I don't, I, I want to make a sh secure, you know, career that I know of for my family, and I want my son to have it. And these people that I don't want to be around or I think that they're less than me, then they shouldn't have it either because, you know, it's great for my people, my, you know, family, but uh, those other people, I don't want it. So it automatically starts a system of reinforcing the already unjust prejudice and keeping somebody else that may have that good job from getting it and that's what the systematic part in it because sooner or later it says well it's been in my family not just the hateful part of the shit but it's been in my family so why should i actually give it up and that's what a lot of these systematic racism issues is it's not just that oh this person has just a you know unreasonable un unrecognizable hatred for these particular people no it's like a system is built in place to actually disenfranchise a group of people. And you don't even have to think about why that is. Well, it just is. But let's continue. Privileged people, when you're privileged, then equality feels like oppression. No, this isn't really about me anymore. This is about future generations. My son, for example, I would like him to. As was stated in the chat, there is a lot of, you know, xenophobia in different cultures, but also, also, he just said it. It was he, his son. He wants his son to actually get it. But what makes you think your son is qualified just because he's your son? God damn it. I love him when I'm right. Well, I'm right all the time, and I love myself a lot. Almost too much. Anyway, let's continue to get into tech as well and and i want to preface this by saying i support everybody getting into tech i think that we can all learn the skill but it should be a meritocracy so of course wait wait what wait stop stop wait what okay you can't just say i want my son to take over the job but i think everybody should be in there and it should be in a meritocracy those things don't always fit. You may be a shit programmer, and the person that may have been a diversity hire, or a uh, what the fuck is that called? Uh, fuck, what is the equal opportunity? Um, whatever the fuck is called. The nice way of them saying the token hire. Um, yeah, the nice way, but it's, it's still not the nice way. Uh, but, um. Yeah, that person may have better programming skills than your child. And, oh yeah, they may just happen to be a certain demographic. 
And I don't get it. Like, these right wing motherfuckers will take any fucking ally that they could fucking use until it doesn't no longer fit their motherfucking narrative. Because here's a great motherfucking irony. Mr. Obvious is complaining that not enough white people are in tech. Or white people are being pushed out of tech. This motherfucker right here. The ex-school employee is not white. But he's using this, he's using this quote-unquote minority as a shield to really cover up the fact that I want to make games, I want to be in tech, but they said I couldn't. Hmm. It's almost as if you're blaming a diversity hire for what you may not have been able to accomplish in tech and using that as an excuse. But let's continue. Of course, he talks about meritocracy. He talks about um, the, the, the outright discrimination. Now, the reason that I say that a lot of times it seems like to these progressive leftists living in their ivory towers, diversity seems to mean, you know, everything but white and in many cases everything but asian i think it's completely wrong i think everyone should have equal opportunity that's not what we have one example it's well known that you know wait what like seriously seriously my friend you literally just if you think everyone should have an equal opportunity then why are you having this issue no one is saying and see, that's the thing with these guys. They really believe that, you know, black folks start on the same equal footing as far as social economic issues. Now, the programmer was right. We all, in some sense of the word, can learn programming if your learning skills is kind of, you know, I'd guess... You know, accustomed to, I wouldn't say accustomed. I would say if your strengths are learning how to do tech things, there are some people there are intelligence. Yes, there are nine different types of intelligence. And, you know, it's actually been studied that there are nine different types of intelligence. And some people's intelligence aren't, strength isn't in mathematics or art. That's not what their strength is. Some people have other types of intelligence. But, you know what happened for a long time? What was happening for a long time is because of the type or color of people's skin or the specific where someone was raised, they fucking didn't get the same opportunity to test and see if they had the aptitude to do programming or tech work. All right. Yes, yes. Yes, a lot of these guys come up with straw mans when they say progressive or liberals. Where they fuck it. It's not even... If they could get away with some of the shit that they want to get away with, they... Like, me thinks this guy, Mr. Obvious, fancying himself smart, smart enough to get into this field, but was turned down because he thought, like, somebody else took his job because... He was just awesome, and he can be anything that he wanted to be. And how dare these other people, like, take his position of where he he should have naturally been. Almost as if, hmm, let's, let's continue. Universities have discriminated against certain students because of their background. Uh, it's well known that... To oh, so you are against people being discriminated for... If they had, like, I don't know, maybe drug possession charges, or maybe they came from a place or a neighborhood where the schools were shitty and they couldn't actually, you know, fulfill their full potential as a student and they may have had to do other shit in order to progress. Right? You're not? Oh. What, why? Oh. Let's continue. To get into a good university, the bar is much higher for Asian students, for example, and they just don't let as many in. Here from City Journal, it says, fewer Asians need apply. And it basically talks about how Asian students are being discriminated against and expected to be held to a higher standard. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yes. Yes, I've noticed that people that make terrible arguments um, actually try to have a channel around the fact that they're logical or reasonable. So, here's the thing. And I'm going to be honest. I haven't read this article. I haven't. It would seem to me, and I'm not, I'm just going to be completely honest. Something tells me that he's going to cherry pick the shit out of this article. Something tells me that. It's almost as if that he's going to make a shitty attempt to say that Asian students are being discriminated against where it's been nothing but a steady climb of Asian students ever since, you know, fucking China went, like, super capitalist. And, you know, they had to get their money out the country some kind of way. So, you know, a lot of people that are Chinese nationalists that are rich and taking advantage of the poor people in China are basically sending their money out of state where they are using it to launder their money. And, oh, yeah, oppressing the people that are in China as well. A lot of these motherfuckers who are Asian students that are coming over here from abroad literally are children of, of um, oligarchs. And, yes, China has oligarchs now. They're just inside the company, um, inside of the, um, the ruling party. But let's continue. Now, this is perfectly illustrated in the fact that there was once an Indian man. An Indian man, uh, you can see the CNN news story here. There was once an Indian man who couldn't get into medical school because his scores just weren't high enough. So he did an experiment. He changed his appearance to appear uh, black. He was pretending to be black. And something amazing happened when he did this. He was able to get into college. He was accepted. So this proves... The, the only thing that changed, it wasn't his academic background. Yeah, we all know the common sense isn't so common. That's why um, Common from Chicago had to change his name. But no. <laughs> um, but what this fool just said really fucking bothered me. And I'll tell you why it bothered me. Because it's almost as if he thinks that it was two students of the same caliber. And I, I don't know. It just, again, judging by how bad faith the last video I did on him was, it just, I don't trust him with the fucking shit that he's saying. He definitely is a bad faith actor. I don't fucking trust it. And, like, to be very, very fucking honest with you, I, I doubt that would be the case. And yeah, afterwards you're forced you're you're fucking forging your paper, your 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 application. So any school that like took him in probably would also like say, no, nah, we're gonna resend that invitation to come look learn at our school. But let's continue. It wasn't who he was, it wasn't anything. Everything was the same except in one he pretended to be black and in real life he was Indian. And he was only able to get accepted when he pretended to be black. That means these universities are, one, discriminating on the basis of ethnicity. Two, holding different groups of people to different standards. Which... Oh, and oh yeah, it's almost as if they said, well, these people have gotten a shitty deal for the longest time. Let's make sure we have a reserved space for a certain amount of them. Like, for real. A lot of the, this is what I don't get about these motherfuckers. It's that they don't recognize that there has been a systematic oppression of certain people to say, like, wait, we've been fucking these people over. Let's give them an appearance of a of a halfway decent shot. He's acting as if every university is kicking out every white person, every straight cis male or straight white cis male. He's act as if that is happening when in reality they're saying, you can't have 100%, maybe fucking 80, 60. Oh, no. You have 49 men to 51 women. Oh, no. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Because reasons. Because motherfucking reasons. 
But let's continue. Which is discriminatory. And three, lying about it. So somebody sent me the screenshot for an Oracle summer internship that lists a bunch of eligibility requirements like GPA, computer science degree. And then it says explicitly that you must be African-American, Latino, Native American, and or a woman. Okay, cool. This is, this is motherfucking awesome. Like, now, now, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna put this up in a big motherfucking screen. Now, you guys see this, right? Ironically, the name of the fucking scholarship is gone. I wonder what the scholarship can be about. I wonder, I wonder what this scholarship's name can actually be, or it can be talking about when it gives specific characteristics. Almost as if they didn't want you to see the name of the scholarship or internship. Keep saying scholarship, but internship. It's almost as if they didn't want to see it. Because it would have fucking ruined the fucking idea. Because it starts off literally, dear colleagues, we're sending you to, we're sending, we're seeking your assistance to encourage, encourage eligible students to apply for the Oracle cutoff. And it starts with a D. I don't know what they could be talking about. And we have and have zero applicants in your institution. We're we believe that there are talented students who would cut off again a word F I N. Oracle Developer Scholarships Program is paid to uh, so it may be the Oracle Developer Scholarships are paid in summer of two thousand. Uh, 2020 summer internship program summer internship at oracle headquarters in redmond california uh, redmond city california summer housing included transportation to california included damn <laughs> and i guess this is considered for a ten thousand dollars scholarship at the conclusion of the internship and it lists the eligibilities it's almost as if they are looking specifically for diversity with this particular scholarship but no that can't be right to have a fucking scholarship for that what no but let's continue uh. And that just seems pretty racist and sexist to me. Now, I have to agree with this guy right here. Let's take a closer look at this uh, Oracle internship thing. And you tell me how this doesn't violate the Civil Rights Act and everything else. Because the world we live in is so black, <laughs> it's so aggressive that stuff like this, which should be seen as discriminatory, is not. I'm sorry. Dear colleagues, we are seeking your assistance to encourage your eligible students I'm to sorry. apply. We have zero wait, applicants wait, from wait, your institution. Wait. The Oracle Developer Scholars Program is a 2020 summer inter... Wait, I'm sorry. Wait, wait. Did he just really throw up the Civil Rights Act? I'm sorry. Like, wow. 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 Okay. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. I had to stop the game for a second. I had to, I had to like, did this motherfucker really throw up? the Civil Rights Act. How dare this doesn't, like, really, really, motherfucker. You're talking about the Civil Rights Act. Why did we have to have the Civil Rights Act? Why? I'm, I'm just, I'm just wondering, you know, was there a particular reason? Like, was there a particular reason why we had to have the Civil Rights Act? I don't know. They just decided it one day. Oh shit. Oh shit. Like, like for real, the fucking hate is strong with this one, isn't it? But let's continue. Good ship program that's paid. Okay, so a really cool deal. You get paid. You learn a code, whatever it is. So it's gonna be held in California. Wait, no, no. You don't learn to code. You already code. That, that, that that's a, that, that, just, I get it now. 
he thinks that these people are just given like the talent because they're there. He, he doesn't he doesn't think. He doesn't think these people already know to get this scholarship. He 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 doesn't realize that this is an application because you have been selected based on your already proven skill. Oh, 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 like he doesn't get it. I'm sorry. I'm, we shouldn't make fun of the, uh, of the, of the, um, the unable people to immensely process stuff. We should, we should, but let's continue. A progressive state, summer housing, transportation costs included. Wait, yes, California is a progressive state. It's also the largest and most economically. Oh god, it's like they don't understand the fact when you be like non-progressive, more mostly regressive, it hurts your fucking state. Oh god, oh god. and a $10,000 scholarship consideration. Okay, but in order to apply, you can only be African-American, Latino, Native American, or women. So isn't that amazing? That Doesn't that amaze you? D did you notice that? So you have to be a minority to apply. They will not accept anybody else. Notice, no Asians are listed here, even though Asians are my- <laughs> Whoa, whoa. It's almost as if they try to get other people into the STEM fields besides who's already there. What? What? Oh God, like I don't even know anymore. Minority in the United States. And if you're a woman, it doesn't matter at all. Doesn't matter if you're white, doesn't matter if you're Asian. All women will get to go. So no. <laughs> and no women get to such as PP, even though he's putting out scholarships for it. <laughs> he's been putting out applications for it left and right. They're going to scholarships so they can't touch his PP. <laughs> okay, see, this is me being cruel against these motherfuckers. This is me being cruel. And yes, I am being cruel. Because the salt is so fucking real. I may start seeing shit because the salt from this motherfucker and me drinking this water. Oh, God. Oh, white men, no Asian women, and only African Americans, Latinos, and Native Americans. Wait, 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 wait. Did he is, he, is he just making this shit up now? Like, I don't see any of these words that he's adding to it. No, I don't know what it is. He's fucking salty. That's the thing. He's fucking salty. Because he thinks, he thinks that, oh, they're just trying to get us. There's no reason why these people should actually be looked for in a field that has been drastically underrepresented by so many other different groups. But let's continue. Is that not discriminatory? You're not allowed by law to discriminate on the basis of skin color. So why are they doing it? You're not allowed by law to discriminate on the basis of gender. And yet they're doing it. I agree. Wait, 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 wait. Did they say no man? Did they say no man? They didn't say no man. Wait, what? They didn't say no man. What? It's almost as if you're bad because they're looking for something other than straight white males. Aww. Aww. Here, if you're so upset, if you're so mad, why don't you, you know, do, why don't you go ahead and, you know, just, I don't know, do what you say that the trans people do. Fake being a woman. Pretend to be a woman, because if that's going to get you the, the the success that you need, do what you accuse so many other people of doing. Don't be yourself to get ahead. And let's see how that works out for you. Let's continue. Agree with the ex-Google employee. This is actually discriminatory. <gasps> now, regardless of moralities, if you're to take a look at the civil rights code... 
No, 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 not regardless of moralities. Moralities are the code that we live our society by, that we then base our rules on, our laws on. No, not regardless of morality. It is a moral thing to have more people included in the society that we all live in. It's a moral thing. I don't believe I have to tell a programmer that. Let's continue. Section 703, it says, It shall be unlawful employment practice for any employer to fail or refuse to hire any individual because of such individual's race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. No internships, no full-time jobs, because I believe that is illegal, by the way. And, you know, I have this as... Wait, what? Actually, here's the thing that we've been knowing about. Internships. Watch this now. Internships should be paid unless you have somebody taking care of you. If you don't have anyone taking care of you, like providing you food, shelter, and like, you know, just money to live on. Internships should always have been paid. That's the law because you're doing work. Now, this is a fucking healthy bonus because STEM field. And we're short on STEM field. And so we're trying to get more people into the STEM fields. <sighs> Let's continue. Suspicion that perhaps that these programs, these diversity programs, are thinly veiled internships just to skirt around the law of employment. So that's one of the things. Um, again, a lot of this should be illegal, but somehow it's not. And it is so wrong. It is so absolutely wrong. Let's take another look, okay? We're going to look at iOS developer uh, Premier Solutions. Here's another thing where they're going to hire people, okay? We are looking to hire... Again, this is another fucking video. Another page, a clip, where... I'm going to just make this bigger. You can actually look at it with me and see that the shit is cut off. Like, I don't get it. Like, why is it cut off? Like, it's almost as if you're scared to show the whole thing. Now, the important thing about this, and I'm glad I took a little break in the middle of this. Um, when you look at this, when you look at it, it doesn't have the title of the position. Now, 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 now. I know this. I know this. I know this one. Now, we're, he's going to go through it. Now, keep in mind, it does say... Indians uh, only apply. And it also says project support, bonuses, referral bonuses, H1B sponsorship. So in this break, let's see what that sponsorship is. H1B. Oh, it's almost as if it's a visa. H-1B, uh, let me, it says H-1B visas allow employees to sponsor a non-immigrant by hiring them to work in the United States, states to discover, uh, to discover how to sponsor an individual, like, and it goes on. Now, we're going to, we're going to let that sit. Let's continue. Hire a talented iOS developer to design and maintain the next generation of iOS applications. Blah, 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 right? Okay, so key skills, proven experience as an app developer, proficient in Swift, go, go, touch, blah, blah, blah. Okay, master's degree. <laughs> Don't you just love these uh, these qualifications? You know, really high bar, not impossible. Wait, I'm sorry. Did you not just ask for a meritocracy? You have to work to get a, mac uh, a master's degrees. Literally, this is a guy that is saying, no, fuck you. Give me this shit because reasons. The fuck? Possible. Indians only apply. <laughs> well, I guess even if I had all of these, uh, all of these qualifications, I, I couldn't be hired. You know, that's that's not discriminatory at all. That's not that doesn't exclude so many people in the world. You know, this is 
something tells me. I, I, I just, with what the part that we listened to before, <sighs> something tells me this isn't a English programming position. This is, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Um, and you know what, you know what? I think I watched this video. And this is the point where I was just like, "Fuck this video," because I don't think. He's going to use, like, dude, I think this motherfucker is going to think Native American. I really don't have that much faith and hope in him, but I think he's going to think Native American, Aboriginal peace, people to the Americas. Like, yeah, no. Yeah, no. Let's, 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 let's continue. This is supposed to be illegal, but... They, keep, they get away with it. It's, it's sickening. Someone else replies, please find more of these. I would like to post them to my friends or colleagues so they can apply. Okay, so he wasn't, like, he was just totally in bad faith, like, for real, like. Dude, like, this is why I just, like, this, like, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real. Like, okay, cool. Note in the video, he literally had it highlighted h1b sponsorship but he didn't mention it because it's almost as if he's cherry picking shit let's continue they justify this by saying that well it's legal because up until now institutions were discriminated on gender ethnicity and they wanted to change that so now it's it's essentially reverse discrimination and <sighs> there's no such thing as reverse discrimination there is just discrimination Discrimination means eliminating of a, a a a a specific group of people because of quote unquote uh, different class of people are limiting that other class of people's access. That's just discrimination. White people in charge is not just is not the normal. It's just the status that we have right now. If it was a turn to a place where white people weren't in charge and there were a different group of people that are being discriminatory towards other people then that would also be the same problem the reason why the NAACP the National Association for the Advancement of the is the National Advancement uh, NAA yeah it, National um, uh, the, what is it NAACP the National Advancement for the group that wants everybody to fucking to see that's it the national association for the advancement of color people yes i had it there we go i got it right it's not just we want black folks to succeed we need all people to fucking succeed in discrimination is discrimination i don't care if you were white and you're discriminated i don't care if you're black and you're discriminated the fact that you were discriminated means that you deserve protection. But to these people, discrimination is not, is, is equality. I can't lord over you. So I need, I, I, I need, I need to be on top. That's the only way that some of these guys can get their pinky hard or pinky side is pinned hard. Uh, let's continue. You know, that was not what this movement I thought was going to be about. I that's exactly what the movement is about. And that's what it's always been about. It's about excluding white people in many of their own countries and like places that they built with their own hands. Oh, great. So not America then. <laughs> it's like, for real, like not America then. Uh, built with their own hands. What, what is it? Europe? Is it like, damn, then like half of Europe was built by the Romans and Roman the... Romans weren't really, we were Italian, they weren't considered white. Like, come on now, like, the fuck? Let's continue. In order to boost everyone that isn't them, and this also happens to be anti-male as well, because it's always more women in tech, more women in this. You never see more women construction workers. You never see more women garbage women, no garbage men women. He couldn't even get the fucking slang that he's trying to do right. Like, for real. And women can be in sanitation, 
women can be in construction, you know what happens? Because there are a lot of guys, and I'm, I've known uh, women who went into those fields, but a lot of guys say, why are you here? And they actively exclude the women who are there and who are trying to be part of it because of some, well, this is not a woman job. But women want to do it. There was women who were fighting to be frontline soldiers and were told no because a woman can't keep up with the hand-to-hand, but yet and still, they have to go through the same training that guys go through. Like, literally, there are women who are trying to do these jobs, but they're dismissed because they're told that this is not a man's job. But they're proving them fucking wrong. But let's continue. Men. You know, uh, none of the dangerous or hard jobs. The progressives never, ever, ever cry for more equality in hard jobs. No, no, no. They want the cushy, air-conditioned office job that's safe, and they want to take it away from a man. Because that's what equality has become. It's become where some everyone is equal, but some groups are more equal than others, right? So if you're a woman, you're more equal than a man. If you're a minority woman, you're more equal than a woman. And, you know, it kind of goes on. It's called the progressive stack. You stack up all this, uh, all these labels and uh, whoever's the most oppressed wins. It's the oppression Olympics. Now, I, I want to show you another example of what I'm talking about. And what this man's talking about. Cry, the, the crying coming from a motherfucker who is literally crying the fact that I'm oppressed because they're trying to take my fucking job away from me. Like, literally, that's what he's crying about. Let's continue. Black Panther proves yet again that diversity sells in Hollywood. Now, here's what gets me when people say something is diverse. Black Panther is a really good example. People said this film was diverse and that it was amazing. Let's look at the cast of Black Panther. And since they said it's diverse, I guess we're going to see white people. We're going to see some Asians. We're going to see some, uh, you know, Indians. We're going to see people from all over the world because that's diverse, right? Let's take a look at the cast. So apparently here's the picture of uh, Black Panther. Uh, Oh, yay. So let's have this conversation. And this is something that the oh, the these these anti-diversity motherfuckers love to actually bring up. Black Panther is literally about a fictional Afro cyberpunk country or future tech, wait, futuristic company, uh, country, that are isolationists. Yeah, it would be quite awkward to have seen people who didn't fit that build in the motherfucking movie. And what's actually sad is, like, the original Black Panther originally started in the motherfucking Fantastic Four comic books. Was originally, like, like I don't get it. Like, what did he expect? And literally, he did have, they had f these motherfuckers from, um... I forget what they name. I I know Andy Circus because like fucking he you fucking know Andy Circus, but um, literally, it was a movie fucking based off of the fucking comic books. It was a little more lighthearted in the comic books because like T'Challa would have just fucking killed Mubamba, but like yeah, like no, oh, like and he has in the past, but yo. Know, it was a little bit more kid-friendly. What did you expect? And, oh, yeah, they did have motherfuckers from Asia in the fucking movie. I'm sorry. Didn't they go to the casino? I got to watch Black Panther again. Fuck, I want the Marvel Knights to come up, but let's continue. Um, I'm, I'm not seeing any Asians. I'm not seeing any Indians. I don't see any Native Americans. I don't see... You're looking at the fucking main cast. Like, for real, it like, oh, God. He's butthurt. The one Marvel movie that had a majority African-American cast. Because it had to. And you're bitching about it? 
You're bitching about it. I'm sorry. You, you're bitching. Whoo. Let's continue. Very much representation in other groups. I don't see any Mexicans. I don't see a lot of uh, diversity. But apparently Black Panther was diverse. You know, I, I was taught, and a lot of other people were taught. You mean brainwashed? With the idea that diversity means everybody. But apparently to be diverse, all you have to do is not have a lot of white people, I guess. Is, is that what diversity is now? That's not diversity. That's my point. It's not diversity. It's not. He sounds psychotic. Like for real. Did you? Did he just turn to the side and was like brainwashed? Like the fuck? Like he sounds. He sounds like somebody broke him. The fuck? Let's continue. Not diversity. If you have an entire group of the same people, just because they're minority, that doesn't mean they're diverse. Progressives are insane. That was about diversity, equality, and creating a better world for all of us, me and my children included, not at our expense. Well, let's imagine someone has a white. Um, I get it now. I get it now. Fuck everybody else, but well, 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 no. We're not saying fuck everybody else. We're saying that, well, we, we want everything to be better for everything. But me and my children, we, we especially them, it's almost as if that's the same excuse that racists fucking use when they say, well, of, of course I care about everybody succeeding. But especially me and my fucking race, especially them. But let's continue male son and then they adopt a black daughter and they're raising these two kids at the same time in parallel these kids are not going to have equal opportunities and it's going to be strange the white male son will be excluded from virtually every coding curriculum boot camp internship job fair training program events conferences parties everything this white male son will be excluded <laughs> wait that point sounded fucking ridiculous hold on hold on hold on hold on if a white family adapt a uh, adopt a African American daughter. Oh no! Everything is going to be equal. It's going to be nothing that would affect and for her to see any particular reason why something would go wrong just because reasons. But she'll get out of programming jobs. Does this motherfucker even understand? Oh my god! Like this, I'm so glad that this video is almost over. Because I, I can barely stomach the shit. <sighs> Let's continue. <laughs> okay, so this was the funniest thing to me, man. Imagine he's white. It's another thing I've noticed about these progressive types. Whenever they portray, like, in a movie or media, and Netflix is a good example. Whenever they portray mixed race couples, it's almost always a white woman. And then, you know, a random minority. In fact, I think there's a lack of... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh. I'm sorry to laugh. Netflix or any other company is taking is is portraying a white woman being taken away by the darkies. <laughs> oh God, he's mad at Luke Cage. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Jessica Jones, she's the white, she's a delicate little white girl being ran by a big black man. Oh shit. And, and literally, the guy, I think he's married to a white woman. Oh, uh, well, fuck, who plays Luke Cage? I forgot his name. Michael something. I think he is married to like a white executive at <laughs> Netflix. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. That's his worst fear a black man with bulletproof skin <laughs> that's taking all the white women. <laughs> it is sad. It's sad that that's a fear of this man's. Like for real. Like I don't. I don't mean to be glib about it, but like, it's like, dude, you fear that. So what is it you're scared? Not only that you have the competition from, you know, your own great white race, but black men are scary too because, because reasons. I mean, like. <laughs> don't even know how to deal with that right now.
<laughs> oh shit, that just made my day a little bit. I I, I, <laughs> I just came a little bit because of that shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll be like, if you have that much fear that somebody is taking your white women, then you motherfucker have an issue. You will never get a woman. You will never get someone who fucking cares about you. You will forever be a fucking simp. Because you have such a fear that somebody's gonna take you. Some minority is gonna take your white woman is the reason why you don't have one. You fucking fool. But let's continue. Representation of minority women and white men. You would think that it would be equal, but somehow it's not. Scandal exists, right? Like the TV show with Carrie Washington. Scandal exists, right? Huh. There, there are also all these other different shows where it's, huh. Like, I, I've seen, I've seen Black Mirror too. Like, huh. You, you missed a great one, Wajita. You missed a great one. But let's continue. It really makes you wonder. There's virtually no program out there for any other type of person. What about the underprivileged for white and Asian males, the Canadians, the Indonesians, Philippines, Brazilians? Wait, and this motherfucker is showing a montage. Like, for real? Can Canadian guys that are fair-skinned are, are kind of considered white, dog. That, that's, that's generally what it's actually expected. They, 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 oh my God. If I have anybody watching the, in Canada, like, and, and you're, like, from European descent, are, are you considered white or are you considered Canadian? Like, for real, like, I, I don't, I, I don't, like, like, I, 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 oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, like, I don't, like, and, I'm sorry, like, dog, for real, for real, like, there is literally a stereotype of the magic, you know, fill in the blank that this particular group of people are really good at this. Black people are really good at sports. It's a stereo fucking type or they're good at making music or, you know, the creative arts as far as making you dance or some shit. And Asians are good at fucking oh, hit the camera. Uh, there we go. But Asians are good at math and all this other good shit. And you're fucking playing into it. And you're being used as a fucking tool by another fucking tool to say like, oh, look, these people were, these people are, 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 are being, you know, uh, are discriminated for because they don't fit the fucking stereotypes. But let's continue. Italians, not to mention in this day and age where identity is so fluid, you may have many women self-identifying as males and then they would automatically disqualify themselves from such programs. So this guy is slipping into ter slippery territory. Oh my God, no. Really? These people who are, be people who are transgendered or non-binary aren't just saying that Oh, I'm going to just do this for a fucking application to a fucking scholarship. No, this is a lifestyle. This is who they I, who they are. Not just some fucking choice like a fucking cost. It's not some choice like a Halloween costume that you put it on and all of a sudden I'm that profession until I take it off. That's not how this shit works piece of shit motherfuckers god let's continue sorry my friend he brings up the simple fact that in this day and age progressive ideology also pushes the idea that anybody can identify as anything therefore if i identify as a female then all of a sudden i qualify for these things but if i identify as a male i no longer qualify for these things it really makes you wonder it's um it's loop de doop de progressive uh, lack of logic as it were they're insane and there's a lot of people out there who get mad when you criticize the left and you criticize these progressives but that's the reality if it takes an ex-google employee to expose this then that's how it has to be is that the gender gap begins so here's the thing I, I i will say this there is this whole idea that people are going to change who they are just to get ahead and 
this is usually done by motherfuckers that are really willing to sell our fucking grandma in order to fucking get ahead. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No one is going to stop me from being a motherfucking artist. No one is going to stop me from fucking playing video games. No one is going to stop me from identifying as not only a male, but a man. No one is going to stop me. And, and I have a fucking moral compass that I wouldn't just choose to pretend to be something I'm not in order to fucking get ahead. That's not who I am. This isn't a fucking rom-com 90s movies of guys drag dressing up in drag just to motherfucking make a, 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 a fucking a bet or some shit like that. This isn't motherfucking Mrs. Doubtfire. People don't just do this shit out of the willy-nilly of the motherfucking day. No, that's not how this shit works. And as great as a comedian that Robin Williams was and a great actor and glad that we had him for the time that we did, this whole misconception that, oh, man just throwing dresses to get ahead is bullshit. And if these motherfuckers who have this perception think that that's the case, Go ahead, do what you're advocating for. Say you identify as a woman so you can get ahead and get these scholarships so you don't have to work for. What? You won't do it because it's stupid. Fuck, it's almost as if other people don't do it because it's stupid as well. But let's continue. And so far before people even get into these companies, before they're applying to the jobs, even in high school, only 27% of all students taking the computer science exam were females. And then by the time they get to college, only 18% of computer science degrees go to women. Now this is because... Wow! It's almost as if people that go to high school and they go to college, some the, most of them don't finish. And of course are saddled with uh, amazing amounts of debt. But it's almost if... Almost if... We're trying to get more people to go into the STEM field because there's a shortage of people. <sighs> Let's continue. Because women, for the most part, don't care about STEM fields, don't care about these uh, these kinds of jobs. They choose not to. Nothing to do. So, so you know. This wow. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everyone in between, we have here right now bona fide mind motherfucking reader. Because of reasons. That's why. Because reasons. He knows that these people don't really want to do it, but they do it because they're being tricked into it. I don't I don't know. Like I, I think that's why they're doing it. Because of trickery. Huh. Huh. I don't know. Let's continue. This guy's not completely red pilled. But he's close enough, right? You know, I'm just pointing that out. So this is pretty much the video. Um, he talks about women and the STEM gap. And I want to point out that, again, it's because of women's individual choices. They tend not to care about STEM. And not all women, of course. Some women some women are engineers. Some women... Wait! Wait, what? It's almost as if personal choice comes to a fact. And you know what? I'm going to say this. And just... I have a friend of mine, a close friend. And literally, she went to school and got a degree in the fucking STEM fields. But when she tried to do a job, while even while she was in school, it was frowned upon that she was in the STEM field. It's almost as if women are disencouraged to fucking do STEM. And when we make a doorway for them, based on the fact that there is a lot of people disencouraging them, People like this shit on them because, well, they they shouldn't be in this field because reasons. Fuck this guy. Fuck people like him. Fuck people like the engineer. Especially these motherfuckers like this engineer. Because they fucking, they fucking give credence to these bastards that wish they had half the talent of some of these guys. It was like the video that I did with Joker. These motherfuckers picked on a woman who only fault is she had an OnlyFans page. She was a good motherfucking mechanic, but she made other motherfuckers jealous because she was fucking better. I'm done with this motherfucker. 
I, I, I really am because this shit right here, this shit right here, literally is nothing but fucking jealousy. It's nothing but jealousy. It's nothing but seeing a jealous motherfucker sit back and complain about the fact that he couldn't get it because he thinks somebody is standing in his way. He doesn't realize he's what's standing in his way. He is the problem that he needs to fucking fix. And I usually don't assign, you know, moral faults on people like this to say that, oh, no, it's not the system dog, it's you. But you want to have the system working in your favor and against everybody else. So it's fucking you. And it's fucking you. <laughs> because in the end, motherfuckers like this, motherfuckers like this, don't understand how having that whole situation, by having that whole that these people don't really want to do it, but they're being forced, fucking hurts them because it gives them a fucking excuse not to fucking try for themselves. Or it gives them an excuse to chase down a dream that they should not be chasing down. It's something else that they may be better talented for. But because they feel that all these poor minorities are taking the shit away from me, like, I deserve to have. Then it's a fucking problem. When they just won't realize, hey, 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 hey. A rising tide lifts all boats. But let me go take a break. I need to go get me some water. And I need to kind of wash this disgustingness off of me. I'll be right back, guys.